so we saw the first method by which we can solve a simple equation that was the trial and error method where we substitute different values of x and we keep on finding it till LHS equal to RHS but that can become a very cumbersome process so what we are going to do is we are going to do the second method of solution that is by taking the like terms together let's say we are having an equation like this 3x plus 2 is equal to let's say 11 now in the trial and error method we had discussed that we have to take different values of x and substitute the LHS such that it is equal to RHS. Now in this method what we have to do is that we have to keep the x term on one side. So we are going to keep 3x here and we are going to shift this constant term to the right side. So then this is plus 2 when we transfer it to the right side the signs will change and therefore we are going to get 11 minus 2. So 11 minus 2 we know is 9 so we get 3x is equal to 9 therefore the value of x will be 9 divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So directly we are going to get the value of x without substituting x is 1, 2 etc. So here this becomes a little more easier process because we are going to get the value of x directly here. So we can say x is 3 is a solution for this equation. Now we can also check whether what we have got is correct or not. Now how are we going to check it? We are going to substitute this value of x is 3 here in this question. So this question is going to become 3x instead of x we are going to put 3. So 3 into 3 plus 2 has to give us 11. So 3 into 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So we get 11 equal to 11. Now LHS equal to RHS and this indicates that our solution x is 3 is correct. So this is how we verify whether the value of x that we have got is correct or wrong. Now let us consider some other question where we will have to solve this by the same method of shifting the like terms together. So let us say for example we have a question in fractions. Let us say x upon 2 plus 1 is equal to x upon 3 minus 7. Now here we find that there is an LHS which is containing a variable along with a constant term. Here also we are having a variable with a constant term. So we are going to bring the like terms together that means x by 2 is there on the left side. We will bring this x by 3 on the left. So at the moment it is plus. So we are going to bring it here it is going to become x by 3. And on the RHS we are having minus 7, we are going to shift this plus 1 this side. So plus 1 when I shift it here is going to become minus 1. Now x by 2 minus x by 3, we will have to take the LCM of 2 and 3, the LCM of this is 6. So we will have to see 2 goes how many times in 6, 2 goes 3 times. So 3 into x will give us 3x. We have to put this symbol here minus 3 goes 2 times in 6, 2 into x will give us 2x and minus 7 and minus 1 is going to give us minus 8. So 3x minus 2x we get x upon 6 is equal to minus 8. We cross multiply this we get x is equal to 6 multiplied by minus 8. So x is going to be minus 48. So therefore we can say that when we are going to substitute x as minus 48 in the LHS and the RHS then we will get both sides equal. So let us verify that see x is minus 48 so if I put minus 48 here minus 48 by 2 will give me minus 24 so minus 24 plus 1 is going to give me minus 23 so when I put this value here you can check for yourself here you are going to get minus 23 and when I am going to put here minus 48 by 3 I am going to get minus 16 and minus 16 and minus 7 is also going to give me minus 23 so this is how we check whether the solution that we have got is correct or not so we have substituted this value of x that we have got in LHS and RHS and we find that both of them are coming equal. So when both of them are coming equal we can say that our solution is correct. So in this we say that x is minus 48.